here in the garden and I'm getting ready to cut some callaloo and I thought I would just share it with you guys and share my first cutting of my callaloo. It's raining so I'm trying to go fast. It is raining out here guys. Look at me. I'm wet. <laughs> I'm out here guys and it's wet. The rain is coming down but I want to share with you my first cut of my callaloo and I have insect biting them up, so I gotta get some before they take everything out. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut a few stalks of these and I'm gonna make dinner tonight. Ooh, whoa. Look at this, guys. This is my first stalk. Look at this. Look at this nice, nice fat stalk. And it's nice and tender, it's really soft. So I'm gonna get a few more and then I'm gonna go back in. Guys, look at this massive one. Look at this massive color. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm just so excited that I'm actually a farmer. <laughs> I am growing some food and I'm excited, guys. Look at this color start, guys. It is amazing. All right. Okay fam, so this will be dinner tonight. Callaloo and uh, maybe uh, some white rice. You can steam it with some white rice. Or you can make like, you can make biscuits as well. And I think this is gonna be delicious tonight. All right guys, I just wanted to share a really quick cutting of the callaloo with you guys because it's raining, so I gotta go. I'll see you soon, all right? Stay the soon. next morning. All right fam, as you can see, I have my little bag here. This is one of the bags that the feed comes in from the, um, you know the goat feed so each time that we get these um strings these these are your best friend on your homestead um whenever mr lewin buy the hay these strings will come on it so i save them i'm going to use these to tie up the um tomatoes so save your strings if you're buying hay because they become very useful over time now see earlier in the video before when it was raining you notice that this this um tomato plant is just laying there on the ground so I need to go ahead and uh, bring that up so it will be, you know, off the ground and nobody will step on it. Stretch right there, but... It's better than what it was. So here it is. I just tied on to this wire right here. I don't have one of these coming over this side. So this is the only one that's over here. And then I'm just gonna mulch this root like that. Put some mulch on the root and that will be fine right there. All right, I got a few more that I gotta do down here. See, I have one, uh, this one, that one, that one. So I have three more that I gotta do. This one is tied a little bit but it obviously it has grown over time so I gotta do that again all right guys there we go I got my tomato plants off the ground this one over here is they're right on the the panel here so they'll be all right they'll be much better because they were just laying down here on the ground so i got them off the ground and they're they're looking all right so there they go guys so tomato plants are tied up and we got that done all right fam i'm getting ready to do um some fertilizer as well but this one i had since last year so it's almost finished well you can look this up on um amazon and i'll put it across the screen so you can know what it is and that's what i use it's a natural organic fertilizer it's come you know from the fish 
I guess once you know the fish that they won't be using anymore, they, it you know go to rot and whatever, however they make it, but it's from fish. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, just like a teaspoon or a little over a teaspoon because two teaspoon of it will go for this container because um, this is two gallon. So I'm gonna feed my kale a little bit. They're nice and fat and looking juicy already, guys, but I'm just gonna give them a little bit, a little bit of fishy motion and that will feed them a little bit. Flies, guys okay guys I hope that you guys enjoy this one today thank you so much for watching and as you can see guys we I've been spraying I've been fertilizing I've been doing whatever I need to do today so hopefully you know the insect will um, kind of subside a little bit because the insect is terrible this year I'm not sure if you guys are having the same problem but here at this homestead oh my god insect and flies everywhere anyway guys Today is my son's birthday. Um, he's turning 19. So I want to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, son. I wish you many, many more. You've been a really good son to us. I love you and happy birthday. All right. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Walk good, stay safe, job bless, and stay in your purpose. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified in our future videos. All right. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. And I wish you all the best on your 18th birthday and um, I know that there's a lot um, in store for you as a young man and you have a whole lot ahead of you and life is going to be great and be safe along the journey and I love you, okay? Love you. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, baby.